All right, good morning, everyone. Jermaine Robertson here with the Robertson team at AZ and Associates Real Estate Group. So we're at a property pick of the week, uh, 2318 West Alicia Drive. So this property is located in um, uh, kind of like, it's kind of like the, the, the middle part of like Levine and Phoenix, 85041. Um, it's 23rd Avenue in South Mountain. Um, it's very close to South Mountain. Uh, Legacy traditional uh, charter school is right around the corner. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful home. This is courtesy of Zillow. And uh, we're checking it out today. This property, I'll just give you some stats. It's been on the market uh, 23 days. It's uh, four bedrooms, uh, 3.5 baths. So it's three, three, three and a half baths. It is 2,364 square feet. And it's about a 6,300 square foot lot. It's built in 2012. And uh, the builder is unknown, but the uh, tax municipality is, is Phoenix. So again, it's on the cusp of like Phoenix and Levine. And this is closer to the mountain in case you're not familiar with um, the area. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look around. The tax records show that this home has a pool, but I guarantee you, I promise you, there is no pool here whatsoever. It's a two story. Uh, kind of like your standard home or what you would see. Uh, but again, the reason why we showcase these homes is because we want people to see, one, what is available. We also want people to see um, that homes are staying on the market a little bit longer. Things aren't flying off the shelf like clockwork, but what we're noticing that if people are not taking advantage of opportunity as it's coming, then yes, homes have the opportunity to be able to, to, to disappear. The moment that you decide that you want it, um, the home ends up being uh, gone. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look around this property. We're gonna show you some details about it. We're gonna talk a little bit about it and uh, we'll go over price and we'll go over all these other things and then, um, but just FYI, it's very important before you start your home search, get pre-qualified. Make sure that you've sat down with a preferred lender, somebody that you know, like, and trust, and everybody's gonna sell you that they are the best lender. Trust me, I work with the best lenders, so you don't have to go any further than me. But get pre-qualified, because if the opportunity presents itself and you want to make an offer on a home, you gotta have that pre-qualification form in your hand, because no seller in this market is going to take your offer seriously without having that pre-qualification form. Trust me, we've tried it, it's not happening. When, when, when sellers are getting multiple offers, we know that they are going with the serious offer and that is the one that has a pre-qualification form with it. So with that said, this is a Zillow property. This is an iBuyer. Um, so basically, they got the property at a discounted price and it's still on the market, currently has no offers. So we're gonna go ahead and start this tour off And as you can tell, the kitchen has uh, beautiful uh, uh, granite countertops. It has this like uh, mocha espresso uh, color cabinets, lots of cabinets. It has a center island, uh, stainless steel appliances that do come with the home. Looks like uh, one appliance is a Frigidaire, one's a Whirlpool, <laughs> and uh, we don't know what the the other one's in a mana, but it does come with all the appliances. Uh, you got uh, dual sinks, uh, you have an LG dishwasher, but uh, as a first time home buyer or, or, or a buyer in general, having all the appliances come with the home is a, is a huge uh, cost effective uh, situation to be in. So we're currently inside of the, the living room and the living room is directly off of the kitchen. Uh, the front entryway, which is where I came through, um, is over here, and uh, I'll just set this stuff down. I got some stuff in my hand. Um, directly off of the entry is just kind of uh, some storage area directly underneath the stairs, little uh, coat closet, I guess. And then over here, you're going to have a, uh, not a loft, but you're going to have like a little den office area. And then this is gonna be your front entrance coming into it. So again, this is a four bedrooms, three and a half bath, 2,300 square foot home that was built in 2012. The address is 2318 
I may get that wrong, West Alicia Drive. And this is going to be in Phoenix, Arizona, 85041. We're directly off 23rd Avenue and South Mountain to be specific. This is a two-story home. It has been on the market 23 days. This is an active listing currently of Zillow. This is a courtesy showing of Zillow. No offers currently, but we would love to get you locked in. And now we're going to go ahead and go upstairs because it appears that the majority or all the bedrooms are up here. Uh, you have a little light inside of the hallway or inside the stair. And as we get up here, I see that there is a full den or a full loft, if that's what you want to call it. And washer and dryer are upstairs. Additional cabinets. These cabinets are always a great feature of a home. I, I like it. It gives you additional storage space. And that is the view of South Mountain. And then if you go down that street, you'll see Legacy uh, Traditional Charter School. And then this is your laundry room. Carpet upstairs. Linen closet. Again, lots of space, lots of, uh, lots of storage areas. And this is going to be bedroom number one. And uh, one of the one of the features that I mean it makes it stand apart. It's not huge. Is the uh, the dual paneled um, sliding doors on the on the uh, closet, and then also on the bedroom door, and then throughout the house. And uh, and then that is going to be like a little uh, outlet for a sofa table. So in case you want to plug something in, like a lamp, uh, you can do that. And then you are now currently in the owner's suite. Oh, I am a sucker for a view. FYI, I am the person in my home who wakes up and I open up every single window in the house. Uh, now my wife does it because I leave early in the morning and she likes to have the windows open when I get back. Uh, but this view behind me of the mountain that we have climbed so many times is absolutely gorgeous. So that would be your view. And I got to tell you, that is a beautiful view. I like that a whole lot. So now we're in the owner suite. Dual panel doors. Uh, this, is a, this is a huge feature for a lot of people. Separate tub, shower. Those are huge features because some people don't want to stand up depending on, you know, your, your physical condition. Some people want to soak in the tub. This is a beautiful garden tub with a nice, it's got nice natural light coming through here. Or if you just need to get in and out, obviously you can go through the shower and just kind of uh, just cleaned off and, and, and get out of here. And then now we're in the owner's closet. And uh, I like this already because I like those two windows right there that are letting in a uh, nice natural light. I did not even need to turn these lights on, uh, but however, if it's at nighttime, uh, that is gonna be something that you would have to do. This is a full walk-in closet, and you can spy in the neighbor's yard, see what they're doing, but full walk-in closet. I think this, I mean, just, just from walking around, my, my impression, my ultimate impression is this is a very charming house. Yeah, you're saying four bedrooms, three and a half baths, so there's more than enough bathrooms to accommodate uh, the family members that live here. And then you're, you're looking at 2,300 square feet, which is an adequate amount of space uh, for almost any family. Uh, anywhere between 23 to 2,700 square feet is a good size home for you know, a family of two adults and you know, maybe a couple children and a dog. You know, if that's what you need. Uh, there is nothing in the backyard, even though the listing says that there is a pool. There's nothing in the backyard. But the good thing about this backyard is it's absolutely bare. So if you wanted to, like the neighbor back there, uh, it looks like they have some pavers. Um, they have a little uh, ramada. 
uh, you can do that and you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, doing any removal of anything. And so, again, this is a 6,000, 6,300 square foot lot. The home was built in 2012. It has been on the market for tw for 23 days currently with no offers whatsoever. And then this is going to be bathroom number uh, three. And then bedroom number three. And I believe there's probably going to be one more bedroom downstairs and we're actually going to go down there and take a look. It's very, it's the, the house is very comfortable. I mean, just walking around right now, the AC is blowing really nice. It feels like every room is, is properly ventilated. Uh, it seems like every room is having a, a nice flow of air. Uh, the construction, the layout, the floor plan is really nice. So asking price currently is $589,000. So with a down payment assistance program or, you know, 5% down, 3% interest rate, you're looking at a monthly payment of somewhere around $2,300 a month, $2,200 a month. That's very reasonable. And so here's your other bathroom right here. So this is your half. All right. So there you go. There you go. Beautiful home. The address again is 2318 West Alicia, Alicia Drive, Phoenix, Arizona, 85041. This home has been on the market 23 days. It's 2,300 square foot homes, about 6,500 square foot lot. Minutes from um, uh, the charter school, uh, Legacy Charter School, which is right around the corner. Uh, car wash, Starbucks is right around the corner. South Mountain is right here. The entrance to South Mountain is right here. So you got a lot of amenities. A lot of horse property is in the area. Uh, so there is the ability to have like, uh, you know, if you want to rent a horse or you want to do horse boarding, you want to board your horse somewhere over here. There's a lot of opportunities over here. It appears to be a very quiet, Cool, uh, clean, very well kept neighborhood just for me driving around, taking a look. It seems to be like a very nice neighborhood. And this is a great home. It's very clean. Uh, it's, it's not a lot of maintenance. So whoever moves in here is going to have a great home. And you got to remember something. Your first home may not be your dream home, but your first home is exactly what it is. It is your home. Nobody can tell you what to do with it. So it's a great opportunity to make something like that happen. And asterisk, with November and December coming around, the market is starting to shift a little bit. People are not looking to move around. So you're gonna have a lot more opportunities to be able to call a home like this yours. And, and guess what? Anybody would be proud or be happy to have a home like this. So all the appliances come with it. Got a two car garage, beautiful area, beautiful neighborhood, maybe a $2,300 a month uh, 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 mortgage payment that will be a, a, a very big savings plan to your, to your personal wealth. So if you need anything, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Contact information is below. We look forward to showing you this home and many others like it. Give us a call. Let us know what you think about this property. Anyways, God bless. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll talk with you soon. Adios. Peace.